Um, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about lust and love and service and wantingness in terms of relationships. And um, so, uh, for me, there's, you know, everything is just dependent on one's level of consciousness, how much one is identified with the physicality and the ego. The more one is identified with the body and the ego and the emotions and the animal instincts, um, not I'm saying the animal instincts are wrong, but the more there's identification with that stuff, the more stronger uh, the urges are. I mean, the, the nature of the animal is, um, is to um, get its needs met. You know, it wants food to eat, it wants uh, sex to procreate, mm -hmm. uh, it wants, you know, as, it, as this animal becomes more sophisticated into, like, humans, they become more uh, conceptualized, like, instead of just wanting a cave, you know, wants to earn money to buy a house, so it becomes slightly different, but still the same thing. Um, instead of being the alpha wolf in a pack, it wants to be the manager in, uh, in the company. But the, the, so these are the, 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 the usual animal things. Now the more one becomes um, the more one becomes identified with the body and the thoughts, like um, you know, if you, like in a, in a let, let's say you had a wolf pack, you know, if some if one of the the wolves was, you would have probably some of the wolves would be more spiritually inclined and some of the wolves would be more animalistic, like you might have a, one of the wolves which might be very drawn by its animal instincts. It'd be like, if there's a leader of the pack and doesn't like the leader of the pack, it just chews its head off and kills it, so it can be leader of the pack. You see. Or it sees like, oh, there's those those two wolves. They 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 seem to be getting on well. But I like the girl wolf, and I don't like the guy. The guy the the guy wolf is in the way of the me getting the girl wolf. I'll just go and kill the guy wolf, and I'll get the girl. So that's kind of like these animal urges can become extreme. Mm -hmm. You see, whereas the more evolved ones are going like, Let, let's stop the fighting, work together as a team, and then we can like you know we'll be able to fend off from the lions and work together and look after each other. So that'd be slightly more spiritually evolved wolf. Yeah. And that some of the wolves might be going more into their animal and will just be killing and, and just making a bit of a mess. They ha haven't got the idea of like having a team spirit working together as a pack, you know. So, and the same thing with humans as well. As they go more and more into the ego, they get more and more drawn by these selfish motives. And it's because it's like there's such an extreme lack, an emptiness, that it seems like it's, all the thoughts seem to be life and death. It'll be like the wolf, you know, like the human wolf is like, if I don't get that girl and get rid of that guy, then I'll die. So I just have to get rid of that guy right now so I can be with the girl. And you'll actually see this. I mean, like some of the newspapers, the tabloid newspapers will show like jealous partners will kill the opposite member because, you know, they'll be in such an, an extremity or, you know, so, so this is this energy field, you know, where, where lust can become extreme or, or deadly or extremely what, what's termed selfish, hmm. you know, or if you, if you leave me, I'll kill you. If you look at another man, I'll kill you kind of thing. You know, that's like extreme, extreme selfishness and, it, but, you know, have compassion, it's extreme neediness and wantingness, and it is labelled selfishness. But, you know, to the animal, or to the person, it's, it's totally logical. You know, it's like, if you leave me for another man, I can't live. Or, you know, and it's like, you know, so you, you have to, like, defend that mm. level of consciousness. But here's the thing, it's like a total disconnection from being at peace and feeling whole on the inside there's this unending cravingness. So as you start to do spiritual work, it's like you start to get a feeling of serenity and peace on the inside. So it's like, you know, it's not such a big deal, you know, uh, it's not such a big deal if you get the person and you don't get the person. Or you start to get, you start to get tuned into different radio frequencies, you know, if, if, if she goes, I'll get another one, mm. you know, it's not a big deal. Or you know, there's plenty more fish in the sea. It's all right. Oh, you want 
you like that guy, Ryan Gosling, go ahead, go off with him. And, you know, I'm, I can, I'm sure I'll meet someone within a week or so. It's not a big deal. As you get to higher states, as you're sitting with these feelings of emptiness and cravingness, you can go to higher vibrations. Like, actually, I don't need a girl to feel happy right now. I could even be happy without a girl or with a girl. You know, so, so now you're starting to get these fe feelings of I'm complete, I'm whole, the universe is taking care of me. If I get a girl, that's nice. If there's not a girl, I'm still quite happy. And then as you get to these higher levels, you get to the feeling of total fulfillment and you're at peace and at one with yourself. And then actually it's like, because you feel so okay in yourself, if you have a girlfriend, it's more like, there's more of a loving nature. You can be more of service. Oh, you want to go on holiday to the Bahamas with your brother for three months? Fine, that's all right. You know, I'm, I'll be fine over here. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like complete. And you can be more thinking of their happiness now. And while they're here, you can be happy with them and enjoy their company. But there's no craving. There's no neediness. There's no need to control the person. You can be generous with the person. There's love because now it's love or service because there's no the energy of craving or wanting or needing to control another person is coming out of not being at peace and one with god you see mm. so these energies become like slightly controlling then very controlling then extremely controlling and obsessive and demanding and clingy these energies come at, at the lower vibrations so and that so for me if you had someone at peace and at love and totally connected to God and they met someone in that nature, then the relationship would be, there'd just be love and acceptance of each other. And also, no clinginess. If one person wanted to leave, look, said, like, I, I want to go off into a nunnery and just be with God for, you know, there'd also be acceptance of that as well. You see, that's, that's you know, and there'd be not that attachment, that strong clinginess there. So... The difference between, also, I go to 12-step groups and they have this thing of like love and service instead of being selfish. I think one of the great things with that is to adopt the attitude of, you know, this is like a quick tool. You know, am I trying to be of love and service to the person mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in front of? Or am I, what, what do I need from you? Give me what I need. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a totally different mindset. Mm -hmm. And so I can like, you know, if I'm going on a date, I can try and go like, if I keep that as a mantra, that does help me, you know. How can I serve? How can I be helpful to you? And then as, if my thoughts go off into how can you be, how can you give me what I want, I can cancel that and go to how can I be of love and service. <clears throat> and also I'd have to be mindful of my thoughts. If I'm needy or desperate, not to engage in those thoughts and before, like, sit with those energies. If I was going to go on, a per go on a date and I feel needy, I could sit with my neediness before I go mm -hmm. and try and empty it, try and get to a place of peace so I meet the person like content in myself rather than like I'm hungry, I need affection, I need approval, I need affirmation. You know, it, this is more likely to put the other person off. 